Hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. Gumpai, and welcome to Let's Play Super Paper Mario. And this is the Chapter 4 Epilogue. Now, I need to go find the next heart pillar. Which means I actually need to go to the left, not the right. Yes. The, uh, pixel that we recently obtained, Fleep, will be very important. And will actually lead to an entirely new area of the game. Yes, down here. Alright, going over here. Around this wall. And now we're back here again. Now, we went back here uh, earlier. And we saw... Or we didn't? Where the heck did that thing go? Ah, oh, there it is. Yes, that little rip in the fabric of space-time. Okay, this is very important. Oosh. Okay, everybody, we're going to this direction for once. Alright, now we're in a new building. As you can see, there are these uh, little boxes here. We need to go back there. However, that is not entirely possible um, right now, because I do not remember what you need to do. <laughs> so with that said, flip. Or, or not. Now flip. No? I actually have to go all the way back? Wow. That's different. Anyway. Here we are. Yes, the clue is this one. Eight blocks, each color once. So, yeah, basically just hit them all once. How did I forget that was what you were supposed to do? It is a shortcut to get this way. Okay, each color once. Boom. 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 Yay! There we go. And notice that on this side, it flips it the other way. Here, watch, okay? There, it turned counterclockwise. Here, it turned counterclockwise again. Something. I'm getting something wrong here. Anyway, it's a lot darker on this side, as you might notice. Now, let's see what's in store. And, keep, and notice that we came out the exact same direction that we came in. Everything's still pretty darn dark over here. And it says flop side first floor down there. What the hamster is going on in here? What the hamster is going on is that we have reached an entirely new area of the game. Which happens to be a lot like the previous area of the game. You see, flop side is the inverse of flip side. I'm not talking to any of the NPCs. But if I did, you would find that the personalities that they had in Flipside are reversed in Flopside. Also this lady. Uh, she modified items in Flipside, and now in Flopside she can actually combine two items together. Very helpful. Okay, let's go up. The Heart Pillars also have the exact same positions, and we will be going to them in the exact same order. And here is a guy that is important. Yeah, I've kind of explained this all to them. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Nelrum, he's... well, I, I've never actually noticed any difference between his dialogue and Merlin's. I mean, you don't get to see him as often, and so he just doesn't have as many lines. He's not, um, don't get to know him quite as well. Anyway, this there's this guy back here. He's uh, kind of helpful. Yes, Wildeberg, once again. 
Yes. I will pay 300 coins for a shortcut directly to Flipside. This will be helping a lot, as we'll have to go to the flop side to get to the Star Pillars from now on. And, you know, going through all that just to get to flop side over and over again, that'll be kind of tedious. So this pipe is well worth the, pe well worth the cost. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, on to that pillar. This is also the place where you get one of the only side quests in the game. <laughs> yeah, there there aren't a whole lot of those. And I missed something. Where's the up arrow? Being insufficiently awesome? Impossible. Here we go. Okay, uh, I'm going to be right now. This is the uh, flop side version of the kid who was obsessed with fish. He's obsessed with birds. He must drink a lot of power thirst. Okay, here we are. Y'all ready for this? You can't be ready for this. Now, flop side also has a tower. But we won't be using that for a while. The doors still appear on the flip side tower for now. But if you noticed, there were four pillars in the original uh, flip side, which, and since I've already explained that the pillars are all in the same places, there are, logically, four pillars in Flopside as well. And that there are only seven spaces for doors on the uh, flip side tower. Guess where the last one goes? <laughs> yeah, it's logical. It's just logical. Okay. Um, I think I'll be getting this side quest right now. Get the side quest from her. Or not. Maybe you just have to do that later. Well, whatever. It wasn't like I was going to do it right away anyway. Now, I think I'm going to use the inn real quick. I have not used it yet, but um, it's a free recharge. And it, it actually is free, I'm pretty sure. The flop side in costs money, but you'll also get items be Wait, wait, uh, I Hold on, hold on. I think that did just cost money. Never mind. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the, the flop side in costs more money, but you do get items when you rest there. The items aren't particularly useful though, so I wouldn't, you know, recommend using it a whole lot. The book! The book is off the table. This... this is wrong. Why are you off the table? Okay. Jump over that save lock, because who wants to run under it? Here we go. One, two, three, four. World five! Great, let's go. Oh, she feels fine. Yes, you do. Because Mario is awesome. Well, there's... She can't take damage. Anyway. Moving onward. Yeah, I'm not worried. Yup! Oh yes, it is. Yeah. Oh, nothing particularly interesting. Yeah, yeah, basically, that's, um, that's how most video games go. 
Okay, chapter 5-1. The Downtown of Crag. Check that out. Hello there, Dor. You're in the air. Oh. Uh, yeah. We'll see where this leads to next time. So, yeah. Until next time, I'm Mr. Grimpie. Signing out.